The Coalition of Rivers Civil Society CSO groups are accusing the Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Nyen Somwiki, of causing anarchy in River State. Speaking on their behalf at a press conference on Monday, the convener of Ogoni Development Drive, Solomon Leno, says the Martins Amewole led group of the River State Assembly has continued to violate a court order restraining the two groups in the dispute from sitting. At the event in Portacot, he appealed for the swift intervention of President Bola Tinamu to call Wike to order, threatening that they would soon occupy the minister's office in Abuja in protest if nothing is done to resolve the river's crisis. Leno, who is also the public relations office of the Coalition of Rivers Civil Society Groups, called on the Inspector General of Police, Kayode Egbetoku, to intervene in the alleged continuous flouting of a court order by the Amewole Group. Let me use this opportunity once again to call on President Bola Metinbu, GCFR, to call the FCT Minister, Mr. Nyeson Wike, to order. It is obvious that Minister Nwike is hell-bent on throwing the state into anarchy by using lawless lawmakers in the state assembly. This is exactly the same act that Nwike accused his predecessor and political mentor, Right Honorable Rotimichuk Wike of doing in 2023. Nwike has chosen the path of dishonor by orchestrating to destroy the house built because certain things do not go his way. And that's why. Wike is spending government's resources from the FCT Treasury to sponsor some dissident lawmakers to ensure that they make the government of Sir Simnia Lai Fubara ungovernable. But we, the Rivers people, are telling him that just as he completed his eight years as governor, Fubara, whom he, Wike, brought to us, will complete his term, no matter the storm. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.